first glance, some people might think that this is some kind of braille for blind people to visualize paintings. Others might think that this is a part of the world map that is printed flat. Look closely and you might think that this is some kind of abstract art, but it's not. So what is it and why is it placed in a picture frame? This is a lithophane. Originally, lithophanes are etched or molded artwork in very thin translucent porcelain. Its name comes from the word lithos, which means rock, and phanen, which means to cause to appear suddenly, hence the meaning to appear in stone. Unlike usual artwork, lithophanes are 3D images that changes characteristics depending on the light source behind them. The tint of a window lithophane panel changes throughout the day depending on the amount of sunlight. Although its color is mainly black and white, varying light sources is what makes it more interesting to viewers. Plus the fact that it looks like a mysterious plaque without backlight. Back then, the process of making lithophanes required special equipment and ultimately skillful hands to etch art in very thin porcelain. It was too difficult and fragile that it's impossible for most people to make one themselves. What's even more difficult is that the artist has to etch an inverted image or a negative image. So what does that mean? This means that all the lines, shadings, and shadows has to be the thicker parts of the piece, while the lighter parts of the image has to be etched deeper, making them the thinnest parts of the piece. This will allow light to easily pass through the thinner parts thus creating an image through the varying degrees of light that pass through the lithophane. Because of these reasons, lithophanes were unsurprisingly too expensive and difficult to obtain. Fortunately, about a decade ago, desktop 3D printers has finally become relatively cheap and available to a consumer level, with the cheaper ones ranging from about one to two hundred dollars. Designing a lithophane is even made easier by using dedicated software which are usually free, such as the ones we could find in 3dp.rocks and lithophanemaker.com. So you guys want to check those websites out if you're planning to make one yourself. So now, thanks to technology, this form of artwork which we thought was long gone can finally be appreciated again and even better be made with ease at the comfort of our home right on our desktop. Let me show you how I put it in the frame. So I just slide it in like this. And then you turn it on. There you are. So you can barely see it because of the lights over here. So let me turn them off for you. There we go. And there it is. That's your little thing. And here's another one that I've made. The backlight are different. So the shade is also different. You can just remove this from the frame and put it by the window. So it's gonna stand up like this. And I also got this one. It's kind of small. So it's a lot smaller than the other ones. It's kind of cute because, let's see what I can do. So you press it right here, like that. And the image pops up. And right here on top, there's some letterings over here. So this is a smaller one. And you can put different pictures. That's it, we are done. Coffee break. <sighs> Good stuff. So if you liked the video, please hit the like button and I appreciate it if you subscribe. That's all for today. See you next time in the Mix Mix channel. Bye!